the meeting is late, Ms. Katz. Thank you, Chris. Uh, welcome everybody to the Public Works Committee meeting on Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. It is uh, 2.34 p.m. in the afternoon. We have three things on the agenda today. First one on the agenda is an ordinance amending Article 1701, International Building Code. Final reading. Um, Mr. Girardi, oh, before we start, um, present today is Councilman Vince Polizzi, Councilman David Banks, uh, Joe Girardi, um, myself, Bonnie Katz, Janice Frank, City Clerk, and Chris Cooley, our IT specialist. You're up in center now, Joe. Okay. Which is the first one we're doing? We're doing the International Building Code. 1701. 1701. Mm -hmm. um, no, it shouldn't be 1701. I don't have the agenda up in front of me. Okay. 1701 International Building Code, we did the last time. There will be upon second reading in front of city council. Right. The two, the two that I should have, you should have in front of you should be um, an ordinance amending Article 1727 and an ordinance amending um, part 17 building and housing code. Nope. I have 17, what's on the agenda? This is why I was looking at what, what, what was presented, you know, what was in my packet. And, and then looking at the agenda, I, this is why I asked you if this was a cleanup. Yeah, no, I apologize, Bonnie. I have the agenda. Let me see here. Let me pull it up on my, if you give me one minute, I'll pull it up on my um, email through my phone, all right? Because in the packet, I do have the International Plumbing Code, 1727. Uh, and then part 17 of building and housing. Okay, um, that agenda, got the agenda. Janice, is this what you had on yours? Janice, are you there? The uh, Ms. Katz, the, safety. Um, the agenda it. does say 1701 final reading and 1711 first reading, the agenda for the committee meeting. Yeah. Okay, let me flip this around. Sorry. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I see it on there. It says an ordinance. Ordinance amending the International um, Building Code and International Plumbing Code. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and, and that is incorrect. Okay, this should be to amend Article um, 1727, the International Plumbing Code, and Part 17, the Building and Housing Code. Right. Um, this is last, what was in um, my packet. Right. The last um, meeting we had was all the other ordinances, which included both those two on first on recommendation from this committee and they were sent to um, city council. The International Building Code was approved upon first reading and the International Plumbing Code was the one that I tabled. Okay? Right. So those two should be the ones that you're looking at tonight or for this committee. And I don't know, 1727 and um, the building and, and the actual part 17, the overall section, okay? So I, I don't know how that works in the committee, but I think you can still go through as long as the chairman says that that's okay and it's voted upon the committee, okay? Let, and we'll make sure it's changed on the city council agenda. But let me see what we have city here. Council okay. agenda. Oh, if, well, if I may interject here, we do have 1727. It was number six on the council agenda. Right. And that's for so, first reading. Yes, right. that will, tape, will be the first reading, right. Right. So that's the one you guys should be looking at today. Okay. Uh, Vince, you're gonna make a recommendation do you have that in front of you? I do. Okay. Do you, Bonnie? Yes, I do. Okay. And then the next one that should be on today's, which should be on first reading for our council on Thursday, would be um, part, um, part 17, Bill Housing, be amended as follows. That should be upon first reading on your city council agenda. I don't have the council agenda. I do have it in front of me. I can get it up on my computer. I'm not my computer. Oh. So I think that what's happened is 
the agenda is correct, but the public safety committee's meeting um, is not correct. Right. Um, it, is, it is on. It is on the uh, council agenda. Okay. So if that's mm -hmm. the way you would like to do it. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Then the first one we would do would be Article Seventeen Twenty Seven. Okay. Okay. Um, and again, sometimes this gets confusing because I think if you think about it, we have like 10 articles we're going through here in the next yes. four weeks and they're all deal with building codes and just different names and different substitutes. Okay. Um, so what we're doing tonight is we're amending um, the International Plumbing Code Article 1727. All we're doing in this is we're making Article 1727, which is called the International Plumbing Code. We're going to rename it the Plumbers a Board of Examiners. Okay. Um, and to give you a little history, when this was originally adopted years before I was here, both the International Plumbing Code and our third class city plumbing ordinance, which requires us to have master plumbers, journeymen, and apprentice, were all put into one ordinance. Okay. Um, I divided that up because if you look at our um, different titles, we have three titles in this particular part 17. The first one is technical codes. The International Plumbing Code is a technical code. It should be in that section. Um, Local provisions is the next title, which is title three, okay? That's the ones that we have to uh, institute because we're a third class city, the historic districts in there, science trailers and trailer camps. That's where this ordinance should go, okay? So that's the reason why I split it. Everything in the original article is there. It's just being renamed and put into a different section of part 17. This, if, that, if you have any questions, more than happy to answer. It's the simplest way I can explain it. No, nope, that sounds good to me. Dave, Vince, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Dave, no? I just have one here. So with the, the version we were sent still has this ordinance titled 1727 International Plumbing Code. Should that be different? The, that's, that's what if you read through the ordinance that's what i did article 1741 basically international plumbing property no excuse me um let me get on the right one yes what i did was it says down there under in the ordinance i said article 1727 international plumbing code shall be renamed plumbers board of examiners so i'm taking 1727 and leaving everything in it but changing the title and putting it down which you'll see in the next ordinance putting in its proper section and we're still going to have the IPC, International Property Maintenance Code, will be 1711 remaining in the technical section. It's to clean up that section. That's really what I'm trying to do here. Okay. And I think you'll understand it a little bit better in the next section or the next ordinance that I'm presenting. I'm sorry. No, thank you, Joe. Okay. I don't see any other, qu any other questions. Um, let's take, so what this is, is, in front of me, Joe, is I have two ordinances, okay, um, for this. One is the ordinance amending Article 1727, and the other one is uh, an ordinance amending codified ordinances of Williamsport, Part 17. Correct. So these are two separate ordinances then. Correct. Correct. So we're working on the 17. Which one are we working on here? Right. And then when we get to Part 17, you understand all about what we did on these approvals and you'll see in order how they go now in the, when you go to the book and you open that first page up, these are the three titles of part 17 and they're in proper order in the proper place and they're all been revised and updated. And okay. I'll show that on the next one we do. So right okay. now we're only adopting 1727 and all we're doing is renaming it a different name. Naming it the Plumbers Board of Examiners. Correct, because as a third party or a third class city, we're required to have master plumbers. They must follow a procedure testing programs and they must be um, work for a master plumber to be a journeyman, then an apprenticeship, and then the master plumbers. And that's by rules of the state. And they threw that all that in with the plumbing code, which doesn't really make sense to do. So I just split it. You said something very interesting right now. You said this is applicable to third class cities. So this doesn't apply to any townships. Oh, no, it? correct. Um, I could be a contractor and go into Lowell Sock, Jersey Shore, um, south side and do my own plumbing. All I have to do is have a certified inspector come and inspect my work. In the city, you cannot do that. You have to hire a master plumber to do your work. Yeah, because the third class, third class city, city is more expensive. Well, yeah, 
I didn't say no, but it, it does because you're hiring a master plumber who's exactly. testing. Exactly. He's been involved in the business for 20 years. Um, right. You know, when he does the work, it's going to be done right. Right. And not saying the other ones don't, but um, that's what the master plumber does. Gotcha. All right. I need a motion to um, an ordinance amending Article 1727 inter International Plumbing Code. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next one on the agenda then is an ordinance adding Article 1711. Is that the one that we're going to do next, Joe? No, the one we're doing next. We're, we're going to do Part 17. 17, correct. Okay. Okay. So the next ordinance is an ordinance amending the codified ordinances of Williamsport, Part 17, Building and Housing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what you have is the last of the ordinances. Um, and basically what this does is it kind of cleans up Part 17 of the ordinance. Okay. We have X amount of um, ordinances in the city of Williamsport. They're set They're divided up by sections. This is Part 17. Okay. Um, part 17 deals with three titles. One's called technical codes. One's called local provisions. And third is, or the fifth one would be housing. They go title one, title three, title five. And so what I did was <clears throat> I tried to rearrange these. So I felt put them in the proper titles because all our technical codes should be all our adopted construction codes. Okay, they basically are telling us technically what we have to do with these buildings have to have to be built and so forth. Local provisions are ones that we have over the years decided we wanted to add. We felt they were needed. Uh, we enforce these, okay? Sobriety houses, historic district, um, trailers in the camps, demolition, those kind of things. And then the third or the fifth title is housing. And that deals with um, rental withholdings, contractor registration, rental inspections, owners and tenants, neighborhood preservation. So what I did in this um, ordinance is number one, it says article 1711, which is the uniform construction code. That is the code that the state adopted a, a long time ago saying, okay, States adopting the UCC, when we adopt this, everyone in the state of Pennsylvania is going to be required to enforce these particular codes, which are the international codes. Okay. Um, so what I did was that was way down below in Article 1741 at one time. Okay. Well, that if it's in technical codes, that should be the first one because when you go to the magistrate, they're going to say to you, how do you do this? Right there, it's the very, very first one. This is the reason why we adopted these codes. So it shows that we adopted them. And it shows that the state required us to adopt it. So that should be the first one in the um, technical code. And then 1741, the International Property Maintenance Code. Okay. Um, I put it up on the very last article in, tech, in Title I technical codes. Because again, it's one that we adopt. We use it for existing housing, existing commercial buildings. We do our inspections. It's a technical code. So now we have, um, and then... Article 1702 is the International Existing Building Code. That's a new one that we adopted this year, which was required under the UCC. Um, I think if you have the color-coded ones, you'll see there's another new one, the International Ener Energy Con uh, Conservation Code, which we're going to be adopting on the second reading of the council. That's in red. Those are two new ones. Um, the greens identified like a relocation of the ordinance. I put demolition, which was up in the technical codes, down in um, the local provisions. So, and as you can see, Title III, Local Provisions, Article 1705, Demolition, shall now be Article 1733, Demolition. Same article, same name, it's just relocated in a proper section. And I'm more than happy to answer any other questions. And as I said before, <clears throat> by doing this, there may be a couple of these ordinances we may want to tweak one day to look at, or for the most part, these have all been looked at, revised, and updated. The only one that I feel that we really need to look at it as a committee somewhere down the road would be your rent withholdings because we've never really enforced it. And if it's on the books, we should be. If it's on the books and we don't want it, then we should get it off, okay? Because I don't like having an ordinance that we really don't enforce. Um, and this one here, it's a tough one to enforce with a really, really low staff. I mean, so it's something somebody to look at and take a look at and decide, yep, we should put this through a committee, maybe revise it or something like that. But other than that, all these ordinances or articles have been looked at, revised, and updated. And I'll turn it over to the chair. 
Joe, on uh, technical codes, what, what is reserved? What is that? Um, what happened was they pulled one out of there a long, long time ago, and they never removed the article. So let's say I want to adopt a new one. I can put it in Article 1703. There's okay, no it just, okay. That's I understand what, what that reserves means. Are. And go into housing when you say rent hold, withholding. Yes. Rent what withholding is, is something that a renter does gives back, gives X amount of money for the city to hold in case there's an issue with a building. Okay. So if there's an issue with the building, then the renter doesn't have to do anything because they have rent withholding until the owner of that property fixes that. And then that rent gives back to the tenant or to the owner, whichever it goes. We've never enforced it because it's sort of like being a bank. And I mean, think about how many rental properties we have in the city of Williamsport. And for us now to take care of monies, it's something that never was enforced when I got here. Okay. It's not something I decided not to do. It was just never enforced. It was an ordinance that was put in, but it was never really enforced. So I think it's one that council and maybe want to look at and then maybe get a committee together and get some individuals who do um, rental properties, maybe the rental association, some individuals who work there and see what they think of it and sit down and decide whether or not this is a good thing or not. Um, but like I said, there is, that is in there. I've never really got into it too much, but that's basically what it's for. That's that might be a good one. Um, I'm sorry. That might be a good one for housing needs, Joe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Dave, Vince, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions right now, Bonnie. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to take a motion on an ordinance amending the codified ordinances of ordinances of Williamsport Part 17, Building and Housing. Move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. <laughs> motion carried. Uh, okay. Now the last one. An ordinance adding Article 1711 International Plumbing Code. Is this what you have, Joe? That's, That's the only one I have. List. But Bonnie, 1711, if I am correct, is um, 1711. International Plumbing Code. That is one that was tabled at City Council. You already went through that and approved it, but I tabled it. So it doesn't really have to come back through the committee unless you have some changes you feel you need to do to it. But typically, it was already recommended for approval at our last meeting. I just tabled it. And the reason why I tabled it was I had two ordinances in one ordinance, if you can understand that. I had the plumber examining ordinance and international plumbing code in the same ordinance. So if I adopt, if I didn't table it, what would have happened was we would have adopted the international plumbing code on Thursday. And that in that particular ordinance, it tells you that that's it. Everything else is deleted which means I wouldn't for a week have a plumber's examining board, which I'm required by law. So I, I tabled it so that both ordinance gets approved on the same night. And then tw after the 20 days, they're both in, a in, in um, enforcement. Understand? Gotcha. That's gotcha. why I did it. So you really don't have to look at 1711 again. Again, there were, I think your agenda wasn't really up to what it should have been. That's my fault. If I misinterpreted it, Janice or Janice wrote it down wrong, we just made a mistake, that's all. I should have called you because this the, the agenda was very confusing when I looked at it and then well, saw what was in my yeah. packet. None yeah. of this made any sense. That's why my first question to you was this all clean up or right. what? Yeah. So and like uh, I said, if you look at it, we we first reading we did five ordinances. One of them right. was tabled. Now we're coming back with two additional ordinances for the same section. Okay. And one of them was tabled. So when you go back this week on Thursday, you're going to be doing second reading on four. And then first reading on three of them, which is the one I table. Follow me? Right. Yep. So again, it gets confusing because I have so many of them. And then we have, of course, the fire code too in there. So we have nine. There's nine or 10 of them we're doing. I know. Yeah, it gets kind of confusing. But when it's all said and done with, I think you're going to like the way it's set up. It's put in the proper order. And it's going to be that way for a long time. Well, with all of your explanations, a lot of it started making sense. You know, it takes a while for things to start sinking in sure. of where you, because it started getting very muddled and confusing. Mm -hmm. But then as you looked at it more and as you explained it more, it became more clear. Right. And like I said, if you don't deal with the code every day, some of this, to me, it's second nature. And I go through it pretty fast and maybe I go too fast. Okay. Because you got an international plumbing code, existing building code, energy code, residential code, property maintenance code, the building code. There's a ton of them. But for me, I go through them every day for 30 some odd years, you get kind of used to it. 
Right. It's like you bonding with chocolate. If I come into your store and ask you for a certain kind of chocolate, you're going to tell me, and I wouldn't know what you were talking about, but you know exactly right. what I'm talking about. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, any questions from anybody? I take it not. So then I need a motion for uh, an ordinance amending Article 1727 International Plumbing Code. I'm sorry, my cat is clawing me here. Uh, <laughs> we got a motion. I need a second. What, what are oh, we oops. actually? Oops. You're actually amending oops. ordinance um, part 17 building and housing, Bonnie, not 1711. Thank you. I, yep. I'm sorry. I pulled, like I said, yeah. my cat. Like was I said, saying, it's, it's a little confusing. I think though, once you go through the agenda items for city council, it's pretty self-explanatory. We go right in order. It's just that your right. agenda's messed up. Sorry about that. I am sorry. I apologize for my, my feline companion today. Uh, so I need, um, did we have a motion on this? An ordinance adding article 1711 international plumbing code. Yes, I will. Thanks. Is that the one, Joe? No, actually, Bonnie, again, what you're going to want to do is you will need a motion to recommend approval for part 17 building and housing. Where the heck am I? 17. Uh, that's actually in our agenda, Bonnie. That would have been. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Yep. I see it. Yep. Okay. Two. I need a motion. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I get this cat off of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I will. I will move to. Um, uh, to move this onto a, a full by of council with a positive recommendation, and that is for uh, part 17. Second. 17, right. Do we have a second? Okay, we have a, a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Joe, Aye. thank you. And I apologize for the disruption here, but all my papers went flying. <laughs> um, Last thing on the agenda is any related items. Does anybody have anything to add to the, the meeting today? With that being no. said or done, uh, I need a motion to adjourn. adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. See you on Thursday night, and thank yeah, you. Thank you for going through this. Like I said, it's thank kind you. of monotonous, a little, uh, little tedious. So I apologize, but thank you. I've got to go straight now. My papers now. <laughs> <laughs> See you Thursday.